Hi there, and welcome to another session of Pellet Tech 101. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the rotation on an auger feed motor. So we have uh, several different auger motors out there, different RPMs. Some are either clockwise or some are counterclockwise. The rotation is determined when facing the motor shaft. And in certain applications, the rotation needs to be changed. This one, for an example, is a 2 RPM clockwise motor. And for our application, we need to change it to a counterclockwise rotation. So I just have a standard number two Phillips screwdriver, and I have four screws. I have two screws that hold on the magnet, and I have two screws that hold on the armature. So I'm just going to start by first removing the screws that hold on the magnet. Nice and simple. Now, in this particular gear motor, all of our screws, both for the magnet and the armature, are the same length and the same thread. You may find that to be different on other auger motors that are out there. So, just important that you set the screws aside accordingly so it's nice and easy when you need to put it back together. So, now our screws of the magnet are out. We next want to remove the screws for the armature. So, some manufacturers, the entire armature is actually going to pull out. Other manufacturers, such as this one, the cap itself is going to pull off while the armature stays in place. The important thing is we just want to be nice and gentle and careful as we go through this process. So that's my last screw here. So now I'm just gently going to wiggle this just a little bit. And the cap for my armature comes right off. And the armature stays in place. This one has these fine little washers in place. We want to make sure that those stay on. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off this magnet. So the magnet is actually what's controlling the rotation of the auger motor. By flipping the magnet 180 degrees, we're going to change the polarity and the rotation. So I'm just giving it a full 180 flip, putting the magnet back down. You'll kind of feel it click or lock into place. And now that I have that magnet in place, I just want to start to thread the screws that hold that magnet down just so that's nice and secure as we're putting back on the armature cap. So I'm just going to thread those in a little bit. And next we have our armature cap here. This particular armature cap has a little bearing that sits inside, so we need to make sure that that's nice and level in there. And then once that's in place, that's kind of going to seat down. And same thing as the magnet, you kind of feel it seat correctly. We want to go ahead and put in the two screws. For these, we're just going to thread them in place. One of the most important things when changing the rotation of an auger motor is that you're tightening these screws down evenly. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and thread them in. And then once I have all of them in place and somewhat snug, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up evenly all the way around. Don't drop your screwdriver. All right, and so all of them are tightened down. So I'm just going to there's get a little snug. There's no reason to over tighten. And what I like to do is I like to go diagonally here. So it ensures that we have a nice even mount all the way around. All right, and she's tight all the way around. So we have just successfully changed this from a clockwise motor to a counterclockwise motor. Stay tuned and join us again for another Pelotech 101 session.